Welcome to the second video of the Laura WAN for STM32 series. I'm Joe Tiarina, Applications Engineer for ST Microelectronics, and in this video, I'll demonstrate how to connect the gateway board to the ThinkStack network server and set up a Class A Laura WAN protocol network. If you haven't already, please watch video number one of this series, as that goes over all the prerequisites needed for what I'm about to demonstrate here. The gateway setup is what I'll be concentrating on here. The gateway is a physical layer interface for the LoRaWAN network server. It listens and decodes LoRa modulated signals originating from the end nodes, and it also transmits messages from the network down to an end node. I'll pick things up where I left off last time with the gateway. The Things Network firmware image that I programmed previously in the gateway board has a default configuration for the EU868 frequency band and packet forwarder set to the Things Network European server. So it needs to be configured to the desired frequency band and network server. These are reconfigurable through AT commands and these can be entered through the STLink USB virtual COM port interface via a serial terminal window. In my case, I'll need to update the configuration for the Things stack in the US. The available AT commands are described in UM2587, as well as other information being presented in this video also came from this document, so it's a good reference to have handy. These are the AT commands to set the gateway to the desired frequency band and network server. I'll start by changing the MAC address to one indicated on the back side of the board, since this is a unique IEEE MAC address. Then I'll set the predefined US915 band plan but I'll follow up setting up for a specific frequency plan that the Things Network recommended. Next, I'll change the packet forwarder for the Things Stack Network server in the US. Last, I'll reset the system so the new settings get applied. And after the reset, I can confirm from the boot up log that this was indeed the case. To get started with the Things Stack, you can simply create an account on the Things Network to start using the Things Stack Community Edition. Once I've created an account, I'll go ahead and log in. Once in, I need to go into the Things Stack console and select the region cluster. In my case, I'll select North America 1. Next, I'll be prompted for my Things ID, which is the same as the username and password I just entered to log into the Things network. Now I can register my gateway. From here, I'll enter a gateway ID name and the gateway UI, which I'll get from the boot up log. The gateway name and description fields are optional, so you don't have to enter anything here if you don't want to. Next, I'll set the frequency plan to United States 902 to 928 MHz and click Create Gateway. At this point, my gateway is now registered with the Things Stack. I can also check the connection status under the Gateway section. I hope you found this video useful. I'll see you in the next one where I demonstrate how to set up a LoRaWAN and node device and connect to the network server via the gateway I just finished setting up. Thanks for watching.